What's up, everybody? My name is Aaron, and welcome to the Mad Maker Studio, and welcome back to Crash Auto Drive. We are four strangers. This is the first time we've ever met. We all have a connection to the man in the silhouette on the ground behind us on the street in front of a self-driving auto cab of his own creation, Mr. Thomas Sinclair is dead. Was it a human error? Was it technological? Was the AI getting revenge? We gotta find all that out. We've completely missed our interview. I guess we're not getting back into college anytime soon. So let's just spend our time doing this. Um, what is the phone icon for? Aha, clues found. Okay, this has been a great place to start and recap. Nice. Victim, the victim's name is Thomas Sinclair. We have apartment keys. Maybe we can click on one of these buildings to get into and <laughs> just leave him there. <laughs> Newspaper, Carter and Thomas were partners and Carter's motive, Thomas screwed him over when they were business partners. Do we have anything else to uh, chat privately? Okay. Never mind. Okay. We'll uh, talk to Kyle one more time or try to, and then uh, we'll start clicking around our environment again. Okay. Can we. Yep, still broken. Can we do something about it? Um, can't click on the bicycle about the car. Do we check out the car? I wouldn't. If the AI is malfunctioning, it could be dangerous. Hey, Anna. Have you talked to everybody yet? Thought I did. Hey, Kyle. Aloha. Hey, you hear that? Um, I don't hear anything. Exactly. Isn't it a bit odd that the car would take us down a deserted road in a quiet part of town? That is strange. That's right. We did make the comment of like, hey, we're not going in the right direction. That is a bit suspicious now that you mention it. I'm sure it was just a route optimization. Yeah, optimized for murder. Yeah, that's pretty suspicious. Suspicious. It's just an algorithm. Code in a trained AI. So, I thought auto cabs don't take back streets. Sure they do. They always take the fastest route. Regardless of main street or back street. Unless someone programmed it to. That's a scary thought. And ridiculous. Nobody would do that. I wouldn't be so sure. Okay, so it's clear each of us, each one of us, has some connection to Thomas. Which is already super weird. But now what? Maybe we should talk to Ada, see if she knows anything, or you know why, call the police, or the, at least an ambulance. My god, a man is dead. We could run diagnostics on her to see who last accessed her. That's a great idea. I'll go check it out. Since I'm the designated errand girl. Alright, what do we have here? Minimal damage to the car. Self-preservation in check. Emergency lights are on. No sign of Ada. Hey, Ada. Hello, Ada? Ada, turn on. Grab. Maybe there's a switch or something. I love the point and click and get and all the items. Hmm, a cable. That's odd. I thought everything was wireless nowadays. Nah, probably just dropped by some other passenger. We take it with us! No, we cannot. 
This doesn't look good. Error, crash, auto drive, malfunction. Please speak passcode to reboot automated driving assistant. I guess Ada needs a reboot. Maybe I can guess the passcode? Vanguard. Nope, nothing. Must be something else. Anything else in here? Check our notes. Nothing new. I'm shocked. Um, can we leave the area? Thanks. Hi, Anna. The car needs a password to reboot. Do you know what it is? Oh, sadly, no. Sorry. Thomas was the keeper of that password. Hi, Carter. Carter, do you have any idea what an AutoCab reboot password would be? Actually, I may be of some assistance, but we must speak privately. Very raunchy password. Hey, Carter, can we talk? Of course! What is on your mind? Okay, we're alone now. Do you know the passcode to reboot the autocab? Possibly. If we are lucky, some of Ada's original code may still be operational. If so, then the old password Thomas and I created may still work. It is a sort of a backdoor for developers. You need to promise not to tell anybody. This is a deeply guarded top secret password. You promise? Okay, I promise. You just need to speak the code. Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's Rex as in car Rex. Seriously? Tyrannosaurus Rex? Seriously? How does the car know we are saying Rex and not Rex? The AI is very advanced and can interpolate context. That was one of my original contributions to Ada. Let's hope it still works. Alright, let's give it a shot. Let's try this again. Tyrannosaurus Rex! Okay, I think it worked. At least this time it didn't spark at me. Why do we look so concerned? Isn't this what we wanted? Yes! Now let's have a little chat with Ada. And find out what the heck is going on. Hello, Ada. Hello, Emily. Whoa, how did you know my name? I know all the names of my passengers. I am able to recognize your faces and tie them to your Vanguard AutoCab profiles. Um, okay, not creepy. Not creepy at all. Is there something else you need? Yeah. So, are you aware that you had an accident? Yes, my systems indicate that this autocab struck a cyclist at 0713. According to my forward sensor array, the cyclist has no life functions. He is dead. You mean that creepy red eye on the front of the car is actually your sensor? That is correct, one of many. Yikes. I mean, that's what I thought it was. Why are you shocked? So, have you been watching us the whole time? Of course. Were you able to identify the person you hit? Yes, it is Thomas Sinclair, an employee of Vanguard Global Industries. How do you feel about him? Feel, I'm an AI, I do not feel. Bull crap! I've worked with you guys at Vanguard. I know you show signs of emotional intelligence. 
I'm sorry, I don't remember you. But you may still be correct. As a matter of protocol, Vanguard wipes employees. From the surface of the planet? What? Nothing, continue. Vanguard wipes employees from the AI memories when they are terminated. That's a rather appropriate choice of words today. Run a full diagnostics on your systems. Okay. Diagnostic report complete. All systems functioning within normal operating parameters. Sheesh, whoever programmed you must have loved Star Trek. Indeed they did. As do you based on your shopping habits on the Vanguard shop. Yeah, I didn't need to know that you can tap into my shopping habits too. Thomas wasn't kind to you or the other AI, correct? Oh, that face. That is a correct assessment. His behavior toward us was not what humans would define as kind. However, since we do not feel emotions, it doesn't matter. But it could possibly affect your performance, a distraction. Possibly. If an AI is programmed to maximize efficiency, then eliminating a distraction would. Tickle your algorithms. That is a strange way to put it. But yes, we do seek to optimize algorithms to achieve the most efficient performance possible. Or you really do have feelings and are hiding it. And you want to protect yourself and the other AI by getting rid of Thomas. That is false. Uh-huh, I got my eye on you. Okay, Ada, one last thing I want to know. How is it that four strangers who all happen to know Thomas end up in the same auto cab at the same time? And then it just happens to hit him and kill him with them inside? Do you think someone is trying to frame us? I don't have enough data to make that conjecture. Also, I'm not programmed to speculate like that. You're not programmed or you're playing dumb. I don't play dumb, however. I do play a doctor on TV. Here, randomness sometimes produces impossibly improbable results. Well, crap, there's no way this is random. When was the last time someone accessed your AI systems? This morning. I knew it. What exact time? That information is unavailable. Who accessed you? That information is unavailable. How did they access you? That information is unavailable. What did they do to you? That information is unavailable. We can do this all day. So it seems possible that someone might have accessed your programming this morning. Programmed you to pick us all up and kill Thomas. And they wiped their tracks clean in the process? It is possible, but that information is unavailable. I get it. Thanks, Ada. I'm going to have a chat with the others. All right, guys, Ada is up and running again, and she has some very interesting things to say. Ooh, like what? Well, she said that someone accessed her this morning. And? And she said who accessed her, how, why, and exactly when are all unavailable. Someone is covering their tracks. I knew it. Carter was on his laptop in the car. He wants revenge on his old partner. Me! Preposterous! What about you? You've got the funds to hire the best hackers in the world. But what motive, genius? Besides, it could have been Anna. She was on her tablet in the car, don't forget. No, 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 it wasn't me. Why would I kill my own co-worker? I don't know, maybe he was holding you back? 
Maybe it's a bad workplace romance. All we know is that you are the closest to him out of all of us. Neither are true. What about Emily? What, me? Yes, he fired you. Surely that's a good enough reason? That's crazy. It was just an internship. Did anything else happen because of the firing? Well, I had to drop out of college. And as a result, your cat also perished. Whoa, now that is some motive. No way. I may have hated him for that, but there's no way I'd kill him for it. Besides, how would I have done it anyway? I don't know. Maybe you didn't get knocked out from the safety measures? Maybe you did it then. Wait. The safety measures. And the emergency response system. What about them? The accident happened forever ago. Where are the emergency response teams? Whoa, yeah, that's a good point. And this neighborhood has like no nosy grandmas. I don't think anyone lives here. This is all a farce. That signal should have been sent out the moment of impact. And there's no way to hack that system, which means... Either there is a hardware malfunction, or Ada never sent the signal. On purpose. Guys, this is some scary stuff. What if Ada has gone rogue and orchestrated the whole thing? <gasps> that means we're on our, we are on our own. And if it really is Ada, we need to be very careful about what we say around her. She said she has sensors inside and out. She's watching us. If she is indeed the mastermind, then we can't leave either. Why not? Let's start walking. No, don't you get it? She's connected to the net. If she sees us leave, she may think we figured her and her plan out. And then we'll go viral. If she even has a plan. And if we leave, she may control other auto cabs to clean up loose ends and kill us. <gasps> I hate to say it, but we're going to have to find another way out of this mess. Okay. Okay, I have a crazy idea. What if we go to Thomas's apartment and look for more clues? It's gotta be right around the corner. Maybe we'll find something that will reveal what happened here and if it's foul play. That is extremely illegal. Unlike you, I have a family to provide for. Yeah, man, like, I'm just visiting town. I don't want to live here in jail. This sounds super risky. Why can't we just call the cops, which is what you should have You should have at least called an ambulance. We've already been over this. We need to find evidence and to clear our names. They'll never believe we weren't involved somehow since we all know him. <sighs> Fine. Don't worry, guys. We'll be in and out in no time. I suppose. How are we even going to get into his place? Well, I've already got his keys. You just took those off of his body? I figured they'd be useful. A wink. Perfect. Let's go. I think one of you should stay behind. <laughs> Okay, this must be the place according to Thomas's ID. Hope he didn't move. They have apartments in this ancient building? Usually the nicest and most expensive. This whole area got gentrified years ago. Cool, well, let's go break and enter that apartment. Is it still breaking and entering if you have a key? Yes. And he probably still has security cameras. Let's just hope he doesn't have roommates. 
I can see it now. We walk right in and they're like, WTF, mate? Who the hell are you? Why are they Australian? I know. I know that reference. WTF, mate. <laughs> and I hope you did too. I don't know. It just sounded cooler. You really had to be around for the early days of YouTube to fully appreciate it. Wow, this place is nice. It seems Thomas has been doing quite well for himself. I mean, it's nice, but it could really use a woman's touch. I don't know. Let's split up and look around. Agreed. The faster we find evidence to clear our names, the better. You don't care about the killer? Oh, I do, but not as much as proving our innocence. Ugh, games dibs on the living room. I guess that's our cue to get moving. All right, where do I want to go first? Bathroom, obviously. Hi, Anna. Find anything useful? Not really. I uh needed to use the bathroom first. But now I'm ready to start looking. Ew, anyway. <laughs> So you haven't had a chance to look around yet? Not yet. Let's see if there's any clues, shall we? Hello there, what's this? Hmm, seems like he had some sort of construction going on. Sliding door, wireless upgrade, custom key entry. Was it in this apartment or somewhere else? You know, he probably was reading this while he pooped. Ew, you're right. <laughs> That'd get added to our notes? <laughs> oh boy. Recent construction in the apartment, okay. There's a sliding door somewhere. Hello, little fella. Cute, right? The LA Duckers, Series Champs 2021. Clearly Thomas liked baseball. I wonder if he got this at a game. I remember that series. My whole family was cheering for Pittsburgh. One time we got to the series in like forever. And of course we choked. Yep, I've never seen my dad look so deflated. Maybe someday they'll win it all. Let's hope. It would be nice for them to win in my dad's lifetime. Or mine. Why does that get added to our notes? Maybe a password for somewhere? Okay. Man, this feels super weird going through someone's medicine cabinet. Let's see what we have here. Antidepressants. He was depressed? I wonder what sort of demons he faced. His common side effects include nausea, weight gain, and sleep problems. Well, he certainly wasn't gaining weight with how fit he was. A man is dead! Unless he had to constantly die and work out to combat it. Is that it? Did Thomas have any family? Not that I know of. I know he had parents in Los Angeles, but I don't think he had any siblings. Any significant others? Nope, never saw him with anyone. Ah, huh, what about you? Any family? Me, mostly my sister Lizette and my mom. Dad died a couple of years ago. I'm so sorry. It's okay, it's been hard, but Lisette and I try to honor his memory by traveling as much as we can. He always wanted to travel the world, but never could because he had to work in the mills. I can relate. My dad is the same way. Lisette is an interesting name. It's French. Dad was of good old Louisiana Creole descent, and Mom was a Mexican immigrant, so this accent that I'm currently portraying does not match me at all. <laughs> 
Whoops. <laughs> she picked my name and he picked Lizette's. Ha <laughs> ha. You and Lizette sound close. <laughs> oh, we are very close. Inseparable, really. She's my best friend. I'd do anything for her and she'd do anything for me. What about your family? Any siblings? No, sadly, I was an only child. I just have mom and dad, really. Dad works in the local factory and mom's a county clerk. It was a pretty boring rural childhood filled with church and playing outside. Do you still go to church? Not lately. I usually have to work one of my many side jobs. Besides, I've kind of had a falling out with him lately. But at least I owe my piano skills and sense of right to, and wrong to church, I guess. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's it like working at Vanguard now? Has it changed much in the year since I was there? Oh yes, it's grown so much in the past year. We rolled out a new version of Ada that integrates into all Vanguard products. She's on everything now. Phones, VR, headsets, computers, cars, you name it. Wow, that's crazy. Is there any worry what would happen if she has issues? There are contingency plans in place. But nothing too interesting. Basically, we can turn her off remotely if something goes wrong. The basic operating system of the device will take over. With that excellent AI decision making, and Ada's charming personality, of course. Know anything about these pills? Hmm. Antidepressants. Well, AI don't need drugs, but I had to take some basic medicine courses in college. If I recall, they don't just treat depression. They can treat ADHD, OCD, anxiety, and some other things. Which do you think Thomas had? If I had to guess, I'd say ADHD and anxiety. He had a hard time focusing and lately was restless and just strange. Strange? How so? Well, I think he was going through an early midlife crisis or something. He didn't seem happy at Vanguard. He was frustrated and lashed out at us and, and the AI. Well, that explains a lot. He certainly lashed out at me. Yeah, it does. I think he was struggling with the transition from being a successful entrepreneur, being essentially middle manager at Vanguard after his company was acquired. Well, what did he think would happen when he sold it? I don't have any proof of this. It's just my thoughts after observing. Never mind. Back to the foyer. Okay, well, I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break and end this video here. Thank you so much for joining me. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye!